beautiful family. So I just want to jump on here real quick and uh, do a Bible review. I know I haven't done one in um, such a long time. Uh, so please, I may be a little <laughs> rusty with this. So please, please be forgiving. <laughs> but this beautiful Bible just came yesterday. Um, this is uh, the Lee Greenwood's Bible. This Bible has been highly highly debated amongst Christians, sadly. And it is so sad to see that amongst Christians. Um, let me just say, first and foremost, this is not D Donald Trump's Bible. And it is in the funds from this Bible, uh, <clears throat> the money from the sales does not go to him. He is just simply endorsing it. So let me get that out of the way first and foremost. Um, I already know I'm at risk of losing subscribers by reviewing this Bible, by just simply having it in my possession, but that's okay. That's okay. I mean, I'm not here for the clicks and the views and the likes um, and the subscriptions. I'm not. I'm here doing... Um, spreading God's word and doing what I feel very compelled to do, uh, led to do. And that's, that's what matters right there. Getting the word out to others, um, and literally getting the word out to others, um, and letting y'all see what is inside these Bibles. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and do the review on this Bible. This is really a beautiful Bible. And in case y'all don't know who Lee Greenwood who Lee Greenwood is, he is a country singer. And I believe he's also a um, gospel singer, I think. I'm not sure. Don't hold me to that. But I know he did He did the song, God Bless the USA. Um, beautiful song. If you have not heard that, please go check it out um, and look. And do your own um, investigation there. Um, and I also want to say before I get too far, the the funds, um, the money from the sales of this Bible is not going. I repeat, not going. Say it one more time. Not, not n o t, not going to Trump. It is not going to Trump. Um, but this is a very beautiful Bible. It is gorgeous. Um, it does have a, a, it is a, I don't think it's genuine leather. Um, let me see. Let me go ahead and read, because I got pulled up here. Let me go ahead and read the facts of this Bible. Um, it is an easy to read, large print, and slim design. This Bible invites you to explore God's word anywhere, anytime. This Bible has been designed so that it delivers an easy reading experience in the trusted um, KJV translation. And I know that bugs people when I say KJV. Um, it bugs people when I say in KJV, but I digress. Uh, KJV, which is, the, of course, the King James Version translation. This large print Bible will be perfect to take to church, a Bible study, work, travel, etc., uh, the Bible also features a copy of, this is what makes this Bible so unique, a handwritten course to God Bless the USA by Lee Greenwood. And we will take a look at that. We'll take a look at all these. Uh, the, the U.S. Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, the Pledge of Allegiance. And we should know all of the above. We should know our rights we should understand it and be educated in it. So let's go ahead and check this Bible out. It is beautiful. It is, oh, I don't, this is not leather. I believe it's just leather feel, I think. I don't think it's genuine leather. I'm not sure about that. But it, I love this, the flag on it. I love, it is really a beautiful Bible and it's definitely unisex. So let's go ahead and take the look at the spine here. Of course, on the spine here, we just simply have um, the Holy Bible and we have these, um, uh, oh my goodness, my mind's going blank. Um, uh, 
I guess inserted hubs. I don't, my mind's going blank on it. The bag is pretty plain Jane. There's nothing on the back here. Um, let me turn y'all just a little bit. Not quite that much. Okay, there we go. That helps a little bit. Um, it does have a gold edging on it. Very, very beautiful. <laughs> and the head and tail bands are a, um, they're like a tan, a dark brown, and a gold color. And it does have a ribbon marker, as you can see here. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. This is such a beautiful Bible. It really is. Um, so this it has the presentation page there. It is a red letter edition. Contents. And it goes straight into the Old Testament. You can see that print. That print is beautiful. I'm not sure what the print size is. Uh, but if I had to guess, I would have to guess, if I had to guess, I would say this is like an easy 10. It is very beautiful, very clear. Just flip through a little bit here. I do want to go to the book of Psalms because I like showing you all that book of Psalms, the beginning, um, the middle and the end. <laughs> Uh, okay, so here we are in the book of Psalms. Um, it's just very beautiful and so easy to read. Seriously, this is beyond easy to read. Um, so let me go ahead and go to... Um, okay, so here we are in the um, book of Proverbs. Me. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, let me show you this ribbon marker real quick before we get too far in. I should have just turned here because here we are, Book of Psalms. Um, beautiful ribbon marker. Um, it is double-sided satin ribbon. Beautiful color. It matches the brown on the outside. It is cut as at an angle. It's just absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and get to the Old Testament. Maybe. Pages are sticking together. That's how you know it's a brand new Bible. The pages stick together. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, so here we are, New Testament. Again, like I said, it is a red letter edition. And this is KJV, so you will have the gospel according to Matthew. Beautiful red letter. Um, I'm trying to think the best way to describe this. It's almost like a blood red. It's just really, really beautiful. I know some of the other Bibles have the same color. Um, so let's go ahead and just head back towards the end of scripture towards the back because this as of course scripture is very very exciting it gets me all excited i love diving deep into scripture again if you've been following the channel very long if you've been subscribed at all and been watching then you know that i am i love scripture i love scripture i love discussing scripture <clears throat> but this right here at the back of this Bible is what makes this Bible so unique. As you can see here, y'all can pause and read if you want. Um, but these are some of the lyrics. I I'll just go ahead and read it. Uh, these are some of the lyrics from God Bless America from Lee Greenwood. I love this song. Um, it says, I, I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. And I won't and I won't forget the man who died who gave that right to me. 
and I'd gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Because there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. Lee Greenwood. Again, like I said, if you haven't heard that song, first of all, if you haven't heard that song and you live here in America, woo, <laughs> you've been missing out. Um, definitely check it out. So here we have the Declaration of Independence. It has it all written out here. Very beautifully displayed. Here is the Constitution. We, we, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide the common defense, promote the general wel welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Do o ordain and establish this Constitution of the United States of America. And it goes on and on. From there, like I said, we all should know this. We all should read through this. If you are an American, we all should know the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. Um, I know we've studied it in um, school, but, you know, we still should have it on hand so that we know exactly what it says. And, of course, here is the Bill of Rights. And then the Pledge of Allegiance. Um Beautiful. I love it. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, some of the public schools, I believe, are actually have taken this out of uh, the schools, but I know some uh, homes, uh, some children who are being homeschooled, uh, they actually start their day off reciting this so that their ch um, the mothers have them to do it. Mothers and dads have them to do it uh, so that their children know uh, the Pledge of Allegiance, are able to say it. Um, and then at the back, isn't this beautiful? My goodness, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. You have plenty of pages on cardstock. Um To take additional notes. And then we've got the back of the Bible. But this is really a beautiful Bible. Um, I personally, I would recommend it. Um, even if you don't re uh, read KJV, again, if you've been following for um, um, very long, you know that I do not do the KJV. I don't like the KJV. I don't understand the KJV. Um, which I is why I thank God. Another reason why I thank God, there are other translations so that I can read and understand and better know scripture. Um, and of course, we can do comparison with the translations. It's okay too. Um, but this is still a good Bible to have to, to be able to um, have on hand the actual constitution, the Declaration of Independence, and Bill of Rights, and so on and so forth. And of course, you could easily buy them separate if you want, but uh, at the end of the day, it probably is going to be um, less expensive to buy, just buy this Bible and have it all together, all of it in one space in one spot. Uh, so I just want to get on here real quick and review this. I don't want the video to be super long because um, like everything in between, everything in between is, is scripture. It's just straight up scripture. Um, as far as the ghosting goes, um, there is some, but I don't think it's that bad. Um, that's just my opinion. I know some people really have trouble with it, even if it's just a little bit of ghosting. But that can easily be fixed with any Bible. Just simply take uh, a black piece of paper or construction paper or something like that and put it behind the page that you are reading and it blacks out all that. And you don't have the uh, ghosting going on. So uh, that is my tip for the day.
Um, thank you so much. If you haven't yet, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, click the bell icon and click all so you get notified each and every time I upload a new video. And as always, remember to pray, 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 prayer is so crucial. And until next time, much love. God bless.